Hey guys and welcome back to another Dot Trace video and today we're going to be playing TT Isle of Man 3 right on the edge and now recently I've been reading the comments that uh, low fuel is the key to putting in good lap times here in TT3. I haven't tried reducing the fuel load until now. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare low fuel to full fuel. I did around halfway and might actually reduce even less than that. But I am curious to see how effective this is, because I have been told the improvements are massive when reducing the fuel. The bike feels lighter, the bike is easy to manoeuvre, and it's even just better and more uh, capable of handling around these TT circuits. Personally, I'm doubtful. <laughs> I'm not even sure, because I did a very quick run and I didn't notice particularly much of a difference. But I guess what will matter the most is the lap times. Now, it's not entirely going to be completely bang on and accurate just because I've done two laps here but I would like to gauge it nonetheless. I'm going to do these laps back to back from this one here to the next one with full fuel but so far using Joey Thompson here in the clip section, this is section two I think it is the clips course, I feel great. The Honda CBR 600 feels really solid. It's been a while since I've used the 600s but I do feel really really good with this bike right now. There's similar electronics I've been running with the super bikes but I have reduced it down to the uh, TCS is 1 and anti wheelie is also down to 1. And we're now going to the left hand side there, very tight to the apex with Joey Thompson. This will now go into the downhill right hand. A difficult corner this to get this uh, to get this one right, but we did manage it. Shout out to the second of the wacky waving arm inflatable tube men on this video. I'm happy to see double in this one, but in for the morning corner, sliding and scratching the tarmac as we move over to the right hand side there. Joey Thompson with style here in the TT. We now go into another section that can be a little bit uh, nerve-wracking, but I'm going to try and take this not quite flat out, but close enough to just reduce the acceleration and give it some power. Could possibly even drop down to fifth gear there, but uh, confidence wasn't quite there. And now into the difficult braking marker. I do find there's a little dip there that just sends you rear wheels skipping up across the tarmac. Good entry into the white bridge though as we now go into the left hand side. Another innocuous corner here. Looks fine until you get into it and realise you've overshot it. Still struggling to turn the bike. I, I thought the low fuel would alleviate that issue and we would be able to just turn in with no issue. Now into the Manx corner. Don't forget to subscribe guys if you are enjoying the content. If you're here for the long run, the long haul of understanding and learning everything about TT3 as we make another abrupt braking manoeuvre. Now into the nursery bends to the left hand side. I'm going to position over here to the right and then turn in. I have been turning in too early in this corner in the past. Prematurely turning in there does put you on uh, a very difficult situation. And the chances are you'll end up hitting the pavement. Uh, a little bit too lax there on the brakes as a matter of fact. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this course and I went a little bit too gentle. But here for the right hander it's not the tightest of apexes compared to the other version. So we'll be able to bring on the power and get across the line relatively safely and pretty much unscathed. So the current feeling is, I don't think it's that noticeable, but I guess it did feel a little bit lighter, but it could merely be a placebo effect. So let's skip the session and see where we are. We're down to third place against 100% difficulty AI. Only down by less than a second though, so that's pretty solid. And there's probably a few small mistakes in there, but ultimately that was a good effort. But most importantly now, it is time to see how we get on with the full fuel load. So back here into the clips course, section two, same rider, same bike, same conditions. However, the fuel load is on full. Now, this is the interesting part. This is the telling signs. Is it still easy to maneuver? Not bad, maybe, maybe a little bit heavier in that right-hander, but I'm not sure if I'm doing really the same. It's very hard to tell, you know. I'm, I'm not quite convinced that this actually makes a difference. I know you guys swear by it, but now I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm really not sure. I thought the bike felt really light and nimble because of the fuel just a moment ago, or at least uh, it was certainly a suspicion of mine, but now I'm not too sure. It doesn't feel significantly faster or slower or lighter or more nimble. Oh, eager on the acceleration though, coming out of the right-hander. Let's uh, let's see the 
Wacky waving inflatable arm floating tube man, as you can see in there to the left hand side. As we get over now to the tightest part of the corner and back across to the right hand side. A breaking marker here, nice and early. Tell you what, I do look good on the Honda, I quite like it. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. This is probably one of my favourite versions of the circuits. I do love this small version here in the clips course. Back onto the brakes we'll go. We've got to change the direction here. This will be a telling sign. Good entry into the left hander. Now back over to the right. I'm really not telling a difference, guys. I'm, I don't know what it is, but... Usually when you guys tell me that something is going to make my life a, a complete change and everything will be alright, usually nothing happens. And I've got to be honest with you guys, this is the same thing. I'm told that the suspension settings that changes everything... Ride 4, changing everything in the suspension and everything else with the settings can make massive differences. And yet again, I'm, I'm going through the same problem. I'm not feeling any different. Everything just seems the same. Is it the same? Are we going to put in the same lap time? Granted, we had a few small mistakes in the previous lap time, but these laps have been recorded one after another. So, it's not like I've put in hours of work in one and only a five minutes in the other. These have been straight after each other, and I can honestly say I don't feel any different. Still very confident going into the right-hander there. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments section down below, guys. Is it merely a placebo effect? I know some of you will probably not want to hear my opinion on that, but... Yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm confused. I really don't know. It doesn't feel any different to me. This is a mystery. <laughs> I feel like I'm always the odd one out with this, though. I swear. I'm the only person who will say, nah, it doesn't do anything. Probably does. Probably makes a massive difference. Maybe I'm just dead inside and I don't feel any different. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't feel any different. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. Let me know in the comments section, guys. I need to hear what you guys think. Tell me what settings you're running. Tell me what you're doing. And uh, I'll try and compare it and try them against my own default settings, your settings, and anything else to do with the fuel. So don't forget to subscribe so I can see the comments. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. And make sure to like the video as well so you know I'll be doing more videos just like this. Any sort of myths or secrets of TT3, I want to know. And I want to either debunk them or prove to be real. So I guess we're going to get across the line now. It looks to be an improvement across the line. We will skip the session, apologies. <laughs> A little bit anticlimactic. But it is top spot. A 324 8 Eight, seven. That is about 1.5 seconds, 2 seconds quicker with the full fuel load. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Guys, let me know in the comments section down below. Does fuel make a difference or does it not? Thanks for watching guys as always. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment and subscribe and consider becoming a member of the Dot Trace Pit Crew to see your name at the end of the video. Thanks for watching and ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Trace video.